You want to get Fabric Mods for Minecraft, and we're going to show you exactly how to do it. Now, first things first, you're going to want to download Fabric itself. Fabric is the mod loader that allows Fabric Mods to work. And you can find the link in the description down below, specifically the second link down below, and it will take you here. This is our in-depth guide on downloading and installing Fabric, super in-depth article that covers everything. Once you're here, you want to go ahead and click on the yellow Download Fabric button to be taken to Fabric's official download page. Now, on this page, you want to click on the Download Universal Jar link here. So just go ahead and click on Download Universal Jar. The reason we're doing that is if you download the jar, it's going to allow you to install other Minecraft mods without any issues. Once we get Fabric installed, just go ahead and click Download Universal Jar there, and the download will begin. While it's downloading, how about it's from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below to break down the XYZ slash SGH to start a Minecraft server for you and your friends. At Simple Game Hosting, you can easily add mods, plugins, mod packs, or host a vanilla server. The choices are up to you, and if you have any issues along the way, there's expert live chat support and a high quality help center to help you out. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below to break down the XYZ slash SGH to start your Minecraft server the simple way. Now, Fabric is now downloaded. Well, obviously, you want to get some mods as well. This will work for any Fabric mods that you want to install, so don't worry if that your Fabric mod isn't one of the ones we're installing here. It will most likely work as long as it's for the 1.20.2 version of Fabric. So one of the Fabric mods you should probably always get is the Fabric API. That's linked in the description down below. It's with all the other mods we are downloading here today. And the reason is because a lot of mods require this, the Fabric API. Once you're here on CurseForge, go ahead and click Files and find the 1.20.2 Fabric version, which is right up here at the top. Click the three dots and click Download, and it will begin downloading after a few seconds. Once that's done, we'll move on to the Inventory HUD here, and it's the same process where you can just go to Files, find the Fabric version. As you can see, there's a Forge and a Fabric version. We want the Fabric version of the mod. The Forge version won't work, and download it the same way we did the Fabric API. With that, there's two more mods we want to get, Spark being one of them. Spark's a cool mod because it allows you to see what might be lagging your Minecraft. So there we go. We got the Fabric version, not the Forge version, with the Fabric 1.20.2 version. Click the three dots and click download. And then last but not least, we're going to go ahead and get Block Us. This is a mod that adds a bunch of custom blocks to the game, as you can see, different blocks that you can check out, but it requires the Fabric API. Occasionally, mods will require other mods as well. For example, compatibility mods. So be sure to check out the mod descriptions here for those different mods, just in case it needs them. Fabric version for 1.20.2, download file, and finally all of our mods are downloaded. Let's go ahead and get Fabric set up and your mods installed. So let's go ahead and minimize our browser and then on our desktop, let's go ahead and move all of our files there. So for me, the files are in the downloads folder, probably in there for you as well, but wherever your files normally download to, go there and drag and drop everything to your desktop. It won't be here for long, but it is nice to have everything here. That way it's easier to install and, you know, manage everything. So we got Spark, we've got Inventory HUD, which adds in Inventory HUDs. I realize I just skipped right over that mod. Fabric API, and of course, we've got the Block Us mod and the Fabric Installer. We're going to be starting off the Fabric Installer here. So go ahead and right click on it, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java. Well, if you don't have Java, you need to download and install Java 17. It's required for Minecraft mods. And this video goes over everything you need to know to get Java 17. It covers all. We've got the video. We've got the guide down here as well, as, long, as well as troubleshooting different issues. All of that's covered, so go check this out. You may also need to run the jar fix, and what this is going to do is take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. Nevertheless, once you've got that, you will be able to install Fabric, again, by right-clicking on it, clicking on Open With, clicking on Java, and clicking OK. That will then open up the Fabric installer, where you want to make sure that 1.20.2 is selected, make sure Create Profile is checked, and then click Install. It will then quickly install Fabric right like so. The only issue you may have with this is if, one, you've not played Minecraft 1.20.2 before. If that's the case, go play it without any mods or anything. Just open it to the main menu, close out of it, and you're good to go. Or if you have Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher open, this won't work correctly. So you want to make sure both of those are closed before installing Fabric. Now go ahead and click OK, and it will close out of that, and we can close out of the Fabric installer and delete it from our desktop. Now let's go ahead and get all of our mods installed. To do that, you want to open up the Minecraft launcher, and before you click play or anything like that, we want to go to the installations tab up at the top. So as you can see, we have installations up here. Click on that, and then you want to make sure modded is selected. If we don't have modded selected, Fabric's not there, but when we check it, there it is. 
Now, if you still don't have fabric there, we can create a new installation with it. If you do have fabric here, don't play Minecraft. Just wait a few seconds, and then we'll pick the video back up to where we can add the mods. But nevertheless, if you don't have fabric here or don't have the 1.20.2 version of fabric, click new installation. Then go ahead and name this wherever you want. I'm going to name it simplegamehosting.com because that's the easiest way to start your very own Minecraft server. Then click the version drop down box here and select release fabric loader 1.20.2. For me, it's right up here towards the top. You may need to scroll down a ways to find yours, but then once you've got that selected, we can then change the resolution. I'm just doing that so you can see better once we get in game and click create. Now we have the fabric loader 1.20.2 version here. And now what we want to do is go ahead and install our mods. To do that, hover over your fabric installation, either the one you created or the fabric loader one and click the folder icon. That's going to open up this. This is your Minecraft folder. And in here, you should have a mods folder. But what if you don't? Well, guess what? Look, I, I don't either. I don't have a mods folder. Well, that's okay. Just right click, create a new folder and title it mods. M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Mods folder. Boom. Now let's go ahead and open up our new folder with the name mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, and move every single mod we have in here, whether it's Fabric API, whether it's Spark, whether it's a bio mod, whether it's just enough items. It doesn't matter what mod you're installing, move it into the mods folder. Then come back into the Minecraft launcher here and click play, either on the Fabric installation you have by default or the one you created, as long as it's for Fabric Loader 1.20.2 you are good to go. Now we're going to sit back and relax while Fabric opens and we'll see you on the main menu to prove these mods are working. All right, so here we are on the Minecraft main menu. Now there's no way to see what mods you have installed from the main menu. You can see in the bottom left that Fabric is installed. We want to go ahead and create a new world just because it's easier when dealing with mods to create a new world. And we're going to name this our Fabric 1.20.2 world because, well, might as well. I'm going to make it creative because that makes things easier to test and create the world. In game, we can go ahead and open up our creative inventory here and search for different block us items or scroll down and find them. That's the first mod that is worth taking a look at. As you can see, we've got all these different polished andesite, limestone, so many cool different items that are added in with the block us mod here. And uh, yeah, really great for builders, which I do love to see. I love to see mods that uh, really allow builders to have even more ways to like express themselves and build just awesome stuff. So there is that, but that's not the only mod we added. We also added Spark, which you can start with a slash Spark Profiler, if I can type today. Spark Profiler starts, right like so, and now Profile is running. We can also go ahead and test the last mod that we installed, which was Inventory HUD. Do we need to go into Survival for that one? Let's see here. Boom, go into Survival Mode. I'm, I'm not seeing it, but I probably just need to activate it. One second. As expected, that's what needs to happen. We can press O here and change all of the uh, different settings. Want to turn everything on here. And now if we go back in game, we can see it. here it is uh, next to us. We can see stuff that we add into our inventory. All of that stuff is now available. And you can customize this if you get the mod by pressing O on your keyboard and coming in here and changing all of the different stuff. You can change positions of everything. Let's say we want inventory over here. We want potions over here. And we'll put, we'll leave armor where it's at there. So there you have it. That's how you can customize Inventory Hub Plus and add mods in game. We can go ahead and stop our Spark Profiler, right like so. And that's going to spit out a link, which we can then click and copy and open up to where we will be able to see the different performance that our Minecraft is having, different places lag could be happening, all of that stuff, and diagnose it all from here. So pretty cool there. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and be sure to let us know if you're able to successfully have fabric mods in the comments. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.